Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing this cool toned makeup look that I hope you guys enjoy. First we're going to start off by priming our eyes for our, in preparation for our eyeshadow. And this is one of my favorites, it's the NYX eyeshadow base in nude. And I absolutely love it, it's like a staple. And then I'm going to go over that with the translucent powder and set that in place so that, you know, my lids get, they'll get less oily and crease less that way and in my crease I'm using this brown it's not so much it's kind of a light earthy tone brown it's not so pigmented from a coastal sense palette that I'll listen in the description box and then I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills artist palette shade which is called dusty rose it's one of my favorites for like that soft appeal and then I love that this pink works great for this cool tone eye look because it's not like a pigmented poppy pink it's like a really subdued pink and then in my crease I went back into the coastal Sins palette and I'm using like a silvery grayish shade and I'm going back into my crease with this dark like a dark dark gray it's called coal it's almost black from the artist palette as well work that more so in the outer corner but then also drag it into the inner corners and then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out just to go back in and apply a brow bone sh shade from the artist palette which is buttery and you'll see it here and I like the shade it's really subdued it's not going to interfere with the rest of my eye look it's not a shimmer the matte shade I believe one of the shades that I've used with, has some shimmer in it so I mostly wanted the eye look matte um, and I think I achieved that and then it's still like a cool tone look or whatever even with me filling in my brow bone area and once that's all blended out, blended out I'm going to go ahead and apply it's called blue velvet that you saw there it's a really nice deep blue shade it's going to add some more like smokiness to the eye at the same time keeping in with that cool tone look because it is blue and I'm applying some eyeliner I did in my waterline and now I'm up at the top and just going to apply a simple I think like a small to medium line and not really wing it out so much just want it to be really simple I'm gonna have um, some semi-dramatic lashes and I think I really wanted to just focus on the shades that I used on my eyelid and really show off the cool tones that I achieved here. And in the inner corners of my eye I'm actually using a silver shade uh, so it's great still keeps within the theme of like the cool tone look very it, it is a shimmer and it's like a silver kind of sparkly silver type shade has some shimmer in it so it works perfect and as you can see here I already applied my lashes and I'm just applying some mascara just to open up the eyes as much as possible and blend the falsies with my real lashes at the top and I'm applying I've already applied my foundation off camera I'm coming back and I'm just going ahead and doing some highlighting as well as contouring um, I try to keep it as simple as possible and I'll list the products that I'm using but this particular product I use to contour is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark Cocoa it's a pretty dark shade I'm using um, like a dampened brush to go ahead and blend out that contour shade it's dampened with the setting spray actually not like water but with the setting spray and just gonna blend it in to my skin as well as go back in and obviously blend the highlight that I'm trying to achieve into my skin as well and once that's all done I can go ahead and set all of this in place and we are nearly done so I'm using the NYX mineral powder set it don't fret it it's a pressed powder and it's for medium dark skin tones. I really like it so far. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my 
highlighted areas to set that in place and then I'm going to go back in and use I believe it's a wet and wild little palette duo that I'm using where they have like the darker shade that I can kind of set my contour with now I'm just going ahead and sweeping away the powder from the highlight highlighted areas and once that's complete like I said I'm, I'm like almost done so if you're still here I really appreciate you and we're almost to the end so on my cheeks I actually used a mineral blush and it's an Avon mineral blush that I really like it has little bits of pigment in it as well and for my highlight I'm using the wet and wild little highlighting palette and the shades that I use it's like a pearlized um, illuminating powder and so I thought that worked best for this cool tone look I didn't want it to add too much warmth or anything to my face um, I wanted to keep it kind of as cool tone as possible and then here I am just lining my lips and I'll list this the name of this pencil. I got this at Ulta the other day too. Not a big name brand, but it's a good shade. And I'm using just kind of a, a gray just to add a cool tone to the pink that I will apply over this. And I'll list that, the brand of this in the description box as well. And this liquid matte, a pink lipstick that I'm using is from a friend of mine. Her name is Carrie Fabulous. I'll list her information in the description box for this lip color. So that's all beauties. I thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up.